Bitch, I'm cooler than a cooler. Big shots out to my chula. Yeah, they been rich ever since. Hey, what up guys? This is your boy Retro back at you with another video here to talk about quite a few things. One being Sunset Overdrive. But before I get into that, I want to talk about reaching the milestone of 3,000 subscribers. Now, I've had this channel for over four years. And a lot of you have been around, uh, been subscribed to my channel for quite a while. And even the new subscribers, whatever reason, um, whatever motivated you to subscribe to my channel, whether it be the Yu-Gi-Oh! content, the Gears of War content, the Last of Us content, the Dragon Ball Z content, whatever the reason was... Or the motivating factor for you to subscribe to my channel, I want to thank you because that means a lot. Uh, one of the goals I had set was reaching a million views, which I've done, uh, and to be successful on YouTube in terms of subscribers in whatever way that may be. So I think I've accomplished those goals. Although I haven't been posting a lot over the last few months for various reasons, I'm going to get back to posting more of The Last of Us, more of the Sunset Overdrive. <laughs> Even a little bit of Destiny, maybe here and there, although Destiny's kind of, although sad to say, it's kind of fading away a little bit. But let me talk about this game, because I think this is the more important part of what I want to talk about. Sunset Overdrive. Let me just say, this is one of the most enjoyable games that I've played in quite a while. Now, you're going to see in this gameplay, I die quite a few times. But it's a fun game. So even when you die, it's like you're still having fun. Like, the, the game does prevent... Uh, uh, present some challenges to you, uh, which is why I died quite a bit. But it's fast paced, it's entertaining, you're always grinding, bouncing, uh, using the environment to your advantage. Now, it's a third person or open world game made by Insomniac Microsoft Studios, and uh, they did a great job, like I said, of using the environment to your advantage. So, the buildings aren't there just for style or looks, they're there to actually uh, manipulate and use those. You got bouncing and grinding on the rails consistently now the basic is the, the way the game works is open world the grinding the styling the bouncing on the environments gains you style points as you'll see in the upper right hand corner those style points allow you to use your amps and the amps are pretty are pretty much uh the gun the gun power up so you can power up your gun with amps you can use, it gives you abilities basically and uh the more you level up your abilities the more things you can do and like i said most of my amp abilities are on level one so i'm building them up like this is like at the very beginning of the game but uh, i must say i'm having a lot of fun the coloring that they use for this game is amazing like i said this game reminds me of jet set radio in terms of the overall fun fact that i have with this game now jet set radio if you guys remember that was on the original xbox of uh, the grinding the grinding game where you could spray paint and all that good stuff the one thing that that game lacked that this game has is the ability to use weapons. Uh, which kind of has a little bit of Day of Rising, like a zombie type. Uh, also, they call mutants on this game. It, it kind of has that, that feeling to it. Where the mutants are putting pressure on you. They're, they're, they're bum rushing you. They're putting pressure on you. And you have to fight them off uh, by primarily staying above ground. Using the rails and, and the uh, walls and the, uh, the bouncers to navigate around the map. Because... In most cases, when you're on ground level with the mutants, they're gonna tear you up. The higher you stay, the uh, the more uh, the more so you can't be touched, which gives you the uh, ability to knock them out very fast. Now, I like the variety of weapons on here, there aren't your typical military type guns, which I didn't expect anyway. They're more like a cartoonish style. It, 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 I can't really explain it. It's just the guns are like unique in their own little way and you're gonna see some of the guns that I use in this game um, but uh yeah I have, I've had a lot of fun the guns are unique the maps are colorful they're uh, you can use them to your full advantage the grinding is amazing like I said Sunset uh, Overdrive reminds me of Jet Set Radio in, in some aspects um, I can't say I haven't put it I can't imagine that I will be putting a lot of uh, hours into this game like I'm projected to put because I mean Call of Duty came out and I haven't even bought it yet uh, I've been playing this and I love it and it's, it's amazing because I didn't look at any gameplay I haven't looked at any reviews all I saw was the little bit of footage that they put on uh, at E3 and I already knew I was gonna get the game buy the game and it's everything that uh, I expected it to be so when you're looking at it from that perspective you can't get mad at the game. It's not a serious based game. So, like I said, if you die, if you die, I mean, it's just like you die. You're still having fun. You just pop back up and continue where you're at. Now, one of the things that I do like about this game is the fact that you can power up your amps. You can uh, you can gain a lot of weapons. 
you can uh, bonus those weapons. And there's a lot of missions and challenges on this game that I have yet to do. Um, I'm focused on the main quest line, but I'm focusing on that because I want to get that knocked out, then do the challenges. But it seems like because it's an open world game and it's third person, you get to experience the full effect of the open world. And that's typically how it goes if it's third person. Um, although Halo, you know, being being first person, you, you can get a little bit of effect, but that's Halo. This game does a good job of being able to utilize that third person effect and, and that open world ability to uh, fully maximize the potential of the of the game. So once again, game was good as expected. If you have a three, if you have an Xbox One, I would recommend you pick it up. I mean, just looking at this gameplay should be motivation for that. And if you don't have an Xbox One, uh, I, this game is actually worth getting Xbox One for. Now they do have the bundle with the Sunset O Drive console that comes with it. You can pick that up for I think 350. Uh, not a bad deal considering the Xbox One was originally 499 when I bought it. Then it dropped to 399 uh, without the Connect, and then it dropped to 350 with without Connect plus Sunset O Drive. So if you look at it that way, it's a deal. So once again, Sunset O Drive is amazing. Thanks again for 3,000 subscribers, pushing to 4,000. Uh, one way I'm going to be able to get that is, is the help of you guys. By you guys sharing my videos, comment, liking my videos, and all that good stuff. Uh, giving me recommendations on what to post. Because what, because basically I want to post what you guys want to see. And if you guys like what I post, uh, you want to, hopefully you share it. More people might like it. So that's the goal of how to get subscribers, is to basically post what you guys want to see. So I'm pretty sure you guys want to see more Sunset Overdrive. You guys, most of you guys who watched The Last of Us video like The Last of Us. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh, of course, Yu-Gi-Oh is just a staple of this channel. That's just how it's going to be from now on. Yu-Gi-Oh is going to be staple content with other games behind it. But Yu-Gi-Oh, of course, is my love, so I'm going to want to post that. But anyway, that's it. Your boy Retro, thanks for everything. Thanks for the support, love on this channel. Remember to share this video, comment, rate, subscribe. I'm Boy Retro, out. Go ahead, I'll follow you. Oh my god, we're stuck. We're never gonna get out. We're all gonna die. Oh my god, you're right, we are going to die. Wait, really? Yeah, no. We're just going in circles. Ah, uh, think, Sam. Think. Here's the plan. You're gonna railjack that train. That's brilliant! And how lucky that you can drive a train! What? I can't drive a train. Then why would you even suggest stealing a train? Because we are about to die. 
Well, in that case, I have played several hundred hours in Choo Choo Simulator. That sounds boring and awful, but potentially life-saving. They're breaking through that barricade! Look, here they come! Now we're really gonna die! See what I can put together. I guess this was heading to Toys for Terrorists? One of these. Some of this. Some of those. Cute and explodey. Like chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs>
Remember guys, like my Facebook page, The Retro Recap. As you can see here, the link will be in the description. I already have over 100 likes on this page, and pretty much what this page will do for you guys will give you all the updates, but when I'm going to upload a new video, some questionnaires, and also giveaways. So in order to keep up with everything that's going on in this channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and like The Retro Recap Facebook page. Once again, thanks guys.